So you think you've got a bad coil. Today I'm going to show you how to check this and you don't need any special tools. Come on into shop. The simple tricks I'm going to show you today on testing any of these coils. This is going to work on your push mowers, riding mowers, trimmers, generators, pressure washers, a ton of stuff. Too many to list. Stick around. I'm going to show you how to check it. Welcome back to Rayleigh Small Engines. I'm T-Bone. So a lot of people will tell you, oh, you need to ohm test. And, and yeah, you can do all that if you want to do it with an ohm meter and test them. I got a much easier, much, much easier way to diagnose these coils. And Briggs, that's a Kohler, uh, Honda, uh, another Briggs. They are all pretty much the same in the design and how they work. Okay, so let's say you want to check for spark. First thing to do is go ahead and pull your spark plug out, lay it up on the top of the engine. Of course, there's just a couple screws to remove the cover. Uh, set your parking brake in this case because we're on a riding mower. Spin the engine over. If you don't see spark, the next thing I want you to do is put a brand new spark plug in there. Okay, still no spark. Remove that wire. And that is your kill wire. Just remove it just like that. Spin the engine over. If you have spark, you have an electrical issue. If you don't have spark, your coil is bad. That simple, folks. Very, very simple. So let's say you don't have a spark tester. You don't have another spark plug. Same thing. Except, take a screwdriver and stick down here up inside in between the rubber and the metal. Don't touch that because it's going to light you up. Just in case. Hold it really close and spin the key over and see if you see spark jumping from your screwdriver to the head. Do the same procedure, just like that. You know, you could try it first with your wire on, no spark. Okay, let's disconnect the wire. Okay, now I've got spark. Okay, that's a wiring problem. If I had disconnected that wire, still no spark, bad coil. Too easy, folks, too easy. One thing I didn't mention out there, this is a little chainsaw I'm gonna show you on too. Uh, where the screws, like on that riding mower or your push mower or whatever, uh, this one has a ground wire, but that's okay. But where the coil meets the engine, where you put your screw through, be sure that you clean or take a little sandpaper and clean off that stud where the screw goes into the engine. That's always a good thing to do. Then reset the gap between the coil and the magnet on the flywheel, I think is 10 thousandths. Get a business card. Works perfect every time. Okay, as far as chainsaws, some of them you'll have to remove the cover to do what I'm about to show you, which is just a few screws. And then you can disconnect the wire, put the cover back on, do the same procedure. Except pull it over and see if you got spark or not. In this case, this one has a ground wire, okay? All you'll do is disconnect that wire. It's got the same kind of little terminal there. If I can get the doggone wire out of the way. See right there, there's your terminal, okay? That's your kill terminal. With this connected, this disconnected, you have eliminated all the wiring. New spark plug or screwdriver, lay it up here on the head, pull the engine over, same deal. If you've got spark, uh, you've got a wiring problem. You hook this up, spark goes away. Um, you see what I'm saying? All it is is these two wires are pinched together somehow. But if you pull this off and no spark when you pull it over, you got a bad coil. Yep, you can do the same thing with this little engine. Pull your engine cover off, disconnect the kill wire, same procedure. Too easy. Y'all hang on, I'm going to go show you about a push mower and a little trick on a push mower. All right, on a push mower, you know you have to pull this handle down and that releases... Uh, that's your kill and it puts a brake on the flywheel. If you pull this cover off, disconnect that wire, and all of a sudden you have fire, the problem is going to be in here where that wire runs over to this kill switch. Sometimes this cable will stretch. This can bend 
and make it just enough so it grounds that wire out and kills your fire. So let's just say the reason you're checking this is because your riding mower cuts off when it's hot. The fastest thing you can do. It was riding along fine, gets hot, it shuts off. Pop that air cleaner off, get you some brake cleaner, carb spray, or a little gas, pour down right, a little squirt down in that carburetor, try to start it. If it fires up, you've got a fuel issue. If it doesn't, then you go to checking the coil. That's a quick way to check it when they're cutting off hot. If you squirt that carb spray in that and it does crank up, first thing I want you to do, let's say your tank is almost full, go loosen your gas cap. Yep, could be the vented gas cap stopped up or bad. Loosen your gas cap, let it sit for just a minute, give time, fuel time to get in that carburetor, try to fire it up, see if it runs. That'll put you in the right direction also. That right there, that's how I diagnose coils. I almost never pull a voltmeter out or ohm meter and an ohm test them. I don't have to. The way I just showed you works every single time for me. I never have a problem. Now, obviously, I can't cover every single scenario of what's going on, but at least this video, I hope, will help you diagnose your coil. It works on almost every little engine like that. Uh, do the same procedure I showed you out there on that push uh, riding mower. Do that same little procedure, and that is a fast way to diagnose it. Uh, there, you know, you get into wiring issues and that kind of thing. That's a whole nother video. I hope this video helps you guys out. Please click that subscribe button. Give us one of those thumbs up and share these videos with your friends. Me and old Toe Mater got to go tow a junk mower in the shop and get some more work done. So we'll see you next time. Whoop, wrong way. <laughs>